Hello everyone, welcome to Building the Ultimate Matchbox Car Collection. My name is Tyrone and today I've got a mail call from Paul's Bucky Spa in Cuxhaven, which is in Germany. In case you were wondering, um, Europeans and Americans get absolutely slammed for postage fees. I was done struck. 70 euros, but it's a heavy one. It says here the Gesamtbruttogewicht or total gross weight in my lingo 1.126 kilos. She's a lump. Let's see what's in it. It says 15 cars. So, yeah, I'm, I'm just struck about um, the postage fees from pretty much anywhere um, in the world compared to Australia. Australia, it feels high. I mean, you know, these things cost money, but you look at what everyone else pays and yeah, very thankful for it. Oh, we've got ourselves a German flag. Oh, you beauty. One thing I noticed uh, when I went to, oh, I've been to Germany quite a few times now, um, the prevalence of the German flag just on window sills and obviously government buildings that's the same anywhere but just um, in the flower pots and the window sills of a lot of German houses we saw the flag quite a bit nice to see and a little bit of the European Union flag but mostly it was just the German flag put that there that goes very oh see that. Sorry about that. That goes very well with the matchbox sign, doesn't it? It's almost as if matchbox is German. Wow. I have a very... I, maybe I should actually read this because I screwed up the last mail call um, from Sparky because I'm an ignorant Australian. Oh another flag. Um, I think a, um, a German car special is coming on because now I have all the stuff for it. Shall we? I think I'm going to pause this and actually do some research, i.e. read the letter Sparky gave me and we'll come back straight away. And we're back. Box untouched, I promise. But um, I have had a chance to read Sparky's letter and I am slightly better informed as to what to expect um, am I supposed to open them though I think so seems a shame but I think I am uh, here is a gladiator with some pumped up wheels some pimped out off-road capabilities you don't get painted interior on a mainline do you well we do on this one I think I'm I should open it uh, yeah, I should. It feels bad to open it because a lot of effort's gone into making it look like a um, an off the peg number. But there she goes, free. Yeah, big beefy wheels, tricked out interior, very nice. Even the steering wheel. Look at that. What are you seeing? Awesome. Thank you, Sparky. I have a drawer um, specially dedicated to customs and um, I keep on telling you that uh, oh, it's a Tesla Cybertruck and this I think is pimped out as well but there wasn't anything on the card about a Tesla Sparky did allude to the fact that um, there were quite a few Hot Wheels in this I'm going to leave that on the card until I know what the dealio is Oh, it's the wheels. They're better wheels. I'm sure of it. You know those um, games you, you play in the newspaper? It used to be in the newspaper. Oh, it's a Hilux. Um, called Spot the Difference. And you go to the, the page and um, you're told to spot the difference in... Ah, oh, that's different. So the side... Yeah, of course. 
yeah, the object of the game is to spot the difference, but in, in this case I don't have the original on hand. But I can see the um, running boards are done, door handles are done, because normally you just get the tampos back in front for the headlights. So, subtle little details just to make it pop. Oh, and the mirrors. Can you see? Yeah, so that'll go nicely alongside the original in the drawer. As I finish my sentence, um, I have often uh, hinted that I'll, I'll do an update video on my storage drawers behind me, and uh, I haven't done that so far. The 79 LJ Tirana, like you've never seen it before. <laughs> and yes, indeed, I know what the difference of this has got to come off the card. It's the GTR XU1, and uh, this has been converted, believe it or not, from a left-hand drive to a right-hand drive. I spotted that instantly, um, reading the comments. And if you're a channel creator, you'll know that um, uh, if Sparky's a fan of yours, he um, critiques every single car you show, usually, with um, gusto. He has a passion for this hobby like few others. Oh, and we've got some exhaust work too. I hope the lights are showing that. Seeing through the viewfinder, it's quite hard to pick up, but this has been tripped out. Look at that. It's a right-hand drive. It's a unique piece. It's very unique. That's awesome. Awesome, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I have a dedicated drawer to the customs that um, Sparky and others have sent me. Oh, oh, of course, this is a Hot Wheels. I was thinking, geez, this is a brand new casting. It is to me. I've never seen the uh, Toyota Land Cruiser Ute. Gee, I wish Matchbox would make one of these. Um, and this, of course, the SC denotes the uh, custom build. I presume that Hot Wheels do the Toyota and the headlights, but I'd imagine the tow hitch, etc., and maybe the wheels are custom. And definitely the exhaust. There is um, something in the letter beside me about the exhaust work Sparky has attempted. It feels really naughty just to get these off the card, but it feels like a a um, bit of a peg hunt as well. So, oh, has that been converted too? I don't know. I'm not familiar with the, uh, the casting at all from Hot Wheels because I'm not a Hot Wheels collector. But this is got door handles. It's tripped out. I wonder if that's a conversion or they came like that. Mirrors are definitely an extra. Yeah, I'm going to have uh, the issue of um, expanding my customs drawer. Um, and this is the very familiar 2008 Holden VE Ute SSV, but with added extras. Yeah, I think I'm just going to. Yeah. As the carnage beside me mounts up of packaging. Oh wow, look. Red accents, chrome gear shift. I hope that's coming through on the camera. No conversion needed here. These came out in right hand drives. And I think that's a wheel swap. Oh, look. The whole nine yards. That's pretty special. I think I've got like 10 of these, but nothing like this. So uh, yeah, that's pretty special. Thank you, Sparky. There's a lot going on in this box. Oh, yeah. Um, the Germany set. I think we got maybe one or two um, with these cards, uh, but not this one. 
and there's not sure how many in the set. Oh, look at that. There's 12 in the set. And there is one. Fantastic. That will not be coming off the card. And we have... Why do we have... Is this a full recolor? I'm not sure if I've got a white one. Oh, maybe... Um, one of one. Definitely. But maybe that came in that color in the power grabs. I'm, yeah. My uh, collection is slightly disjointed because I've come up with a, a new system whereby I keep all the power grabs um, in a separate area and uh, file them away out of harm's way um, to make a compilation video at the end of each year. It is not working out well because um, I put it away and it goes at the bottom of the, <laughs> the cupboard um, for safekeeping, you know, that thing with safekeeping, it's even safe from yourself. Uh, and I lose track of what is in the current year's lineup, but I'm pretty sure there's a white one. But not like this. We've got all sorts going on with this one. I've got a steadier hand than I, Sparky. I've attempted this um, sort of modification and the paint just goes everywhere. But this is looking sweet. This is a full... Look at that. I really hope the uh, camera is picking up. I wonder if... Let's see if I get this one. It might be a bit better. Hone in the spotties. Is that better? I think so. Look at that. Everything's painted in there. Crazy detail. Ha. Awesome. Already got quite the lineup. Loving this one. I think that's because it's so uh, exotic to me. I just I was not aware of that casting at all. Check this out. <laughs> Sparky, you've gone to town, mate. <laughs> that looks great. It's the 2016 Ram flatbed, but not as you've ever seen it before. <laughs> Occasionally I'll send Sparky some goodies from this end, but um, yeah, oh look at this. <laughs> Got a chainsaw all painted up in uh, either Husqvarna or um, still, probably Husqvarna. Rucksack, the chain and the hook. Holy smoke. <laughs> That's cool. That's very cool. Oh, you've gone to town, Sparky. That will look good next to that one. Beautiful. Sparky conversion. Oh, Holden Statesman. There was mention of something about this. Oh, that's right. It was the Caprice turned into the Statesman. Full conversion. In Australia, if you bring a car in... Um, it might have all changed now because I've sort of dropped out of the loop of information on these things. But it used to be that if you brought a car in from a left-hand drive country um, and you had it converted, you'd take it over the pits, which is like a police inspection. And uh, the regulations... Oh, look at the exhausts. The regulations got tighter and tighter until people just stopped doing it because it was too costly to do. But um, here we have um, left to right hand drive conversions in 164 scale, which is quite a treat to see. <laughs> That's cool. The, um, one of the biz businessmen here in Mundaring um, have a white statesman, so sort of kind of that front end, um, but the full length um, statesman body because they're built on a Holden Commodore station wagon to get that extra length in the chassis and uh, it makes for a very nice looking car. A Hot Wheels 32 Ford, there was something about this on the sheet and because I've never seen one of these before by Hot Wheels I'm guessing it's the exhaust work 
and maybe a few details. Let's have a look. Yeah, the drawers behind me, there are three different sizes and my customs occupy the smallest size, which has about 20 something cars. Um, and the biggest drawers hold 50 plus cars. So I think my customs will be migrating to one of the bigger drawers after today. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's cool. Sparky's gone crazy with the exhaust, uh, the chrome pan on the exhausts. Sweet. Very cool. It's a, uh, a snazzy little machine. Yeah, I just don't look at uh, Hot Wheels when I go pig hunting, unless it's the only thing to see. National Parks. Um, a few trim details on this one. Now, there's two of these in here. Oh, lordy. Oh, looky there. So we've got spot the difference that's an easy game because we've got the chrome work on the sparky conversion and look how plain the original one looks yeah there was some uh, confusion over if I had this or not and uh, I since found it loose in the collection um, I alluded to the problem I had with my new system of storing things and uh, I got quite a few comments on a video where I mentioned that uh, I brought out all my 59 Dodge Coronet cars and uh, said I, I don't have the uh, National Parks one, but I did, but uh, and now I have a bunch of them, and the uh, cherry is red on top, as it should be, but Matchbox don't bother. Sparky does. <laughs> so yeah, now I've got a little fleet of National Park ones, including a... Oh, look at that. Now, I did a heat seeker of V-dubs, and there was a purple one in it, but I think it had different interior. There was something different about it because it was from, like, 2009. Another spot, the difference, but that'll stay on the card. That's a beauty. Loving the contrast between the grey and the purple. I went through a phase of... Um, uh, loving everything purple. And I was, yeah, really wrapped up in. Oh, yeah. Oh, check out the wheels on this baby. Did I read somewhere that these are Hot Wheels wheels? I think I did. I've got the jerry can. I've got a full spare wheel. Detailed to suit. Got a chromed up steering wheel and gear shift and overdrive shift yeah that's cool gee they look good with that wider stance don't they headlights are done yeah wooden handle on the shovel and a bit of exhaust action too awesome that's um, almost looking like the, uh, the 80s jeeps 4x4 jeeps. I've got a, a fleet of these and a fleet of those and this will straddle the, the collection. Onwards and upwards we've got a sparky conversion in the six-wheeler and hmm, I think it's the roll cage. Yeah, I'll have to get the original. I think it's just the roll bar. Oh, and the uh, the rim on the wheel has been done to match. Sweet. Another Germany special. And sticking with Germany special. Oh, hey, that's interesting. Um, that colour is... Um, I thought was a bit of a, a colour mistake for a matchbox and I actually got one the original of this and I have to check what's in the back because uh, these come with variants interior variants 
one has a bunch of stuff in the back and the other doesn't, or it has less stuff in the back. So that's interesting. This one will appear on another video and more uh, likely be ripped off the card, but not, not right now. And there's a couple of more. Oh man, looks like I got uh, a whole row of these. Yeah, that can't stay off. No, uh, I got a. Yeah. Oh well. <laughs> I have to take this off the card. Because I don't have this color of the R8. Did I even tell you what it was? You know it's an R8. As I look through the viewfinder for only the second time. Especially these mail calls, I just get so lost in the hobby, and that's really the point of the hobby, isn't it? Oh, that's a nice blue. 2007 Audi R8. These make a lovely crackle when they're going along the road. Awesome. Thank you, Sparky. You're doing... Um, a crazy number on this gift box. Unimog. I started collecting the Unimog maybe a year or two ago because a few turned up and um, I don't know if this is a recolor or a reissue. I oh, know it's a recolor but I don't know if it's a reissue but I've never seen it. So there might be a Mercedes um, heat seeker video coming up where this will be inevitably taken off the card. So it's Lovely to have in town. And a Hot Wheels. Another. Oh, Monaro. Hey. Hey. Oh, that's interesting. Now, this is confusing to me because um, what do Americans call these? Is it Pontiac? I'm thinking it's Pontiac, and that's. or Buick. Hmm. Pontiac. I'm pretty sure there's a Pontiac badge. But um, the Sparky conversion. Is that left? That's right hand drive. <laughs> I've got to get this off the card too. Sparky conversion means it's a Horden Monaro. And uh, these did indeed uh, flash around our streets as a Monaro. And you still see them. Still hear them too. Seems like a sacrilege just to rip these off the card. But I want to show you and I want to get a better look. Oh wow. This casting is absolutely foreign to me and I wonder if that's a wheel swap. I wouldn't know. I've never seen one before. I've seen the car in real life. That's awesome. There is a lot going on. I'm only guessing about, yeah, I know the exhaust have been done. That's a um, anti-flip bar. Chromed up. That's unique to my collection. And we'll see if we can peer through that driver's window on the correct side of the vehicle. For a Holden anyway. Awesome. Racing seats all painted up. That is awesome. It's so strange to see this car um, in 164 because it's, it's so familiar. I have a few Biantes around the place with that front end. Um, I don't think I have Monaro in, even in Biante. I might be wrong, but I don't think so. But yeah, it's crazy to see that front end on a 164 mainline, albeit ma um, Hot Wheels. See, I was going to call it a a matchbox. And the last one for this box, this extensive box, this is a crazy good gift. I'd love to tell you to go and check out Sparky's channel, but he's he does not have a channel, so you can't subscribe to him on YouTube. But um, I'm sure a lot of you know who he is because he has a chat to as we look at this D200, there is a thing in the notes about this. Do you remember the Dodge D200? Here it is. Have fun with it. In orange. I have a blue one, and I forget the other colours now. But I think there was a conversation about not seeing this at all. 
and now here it is in orange beautiful sweet I think there's got to be a follow-up video or at least a follow-up mention of uh, what else I learned about this crazy good lineup as we survey the damage of um, nothing's gone over the shoulder tonight I'm, uh, <laughs> I felt a bit sheepish even ripping these open so I've just sort of carefully um, laid up the carnage over to one side but um, whoa um, thank you Sparky that's fantastic you've clearly put many hours of effort into these and uh, they will be cherished forever in my collection here at Building the Ultimate Matchbox Car Collection. I hope you've enjoyed the show and um, feel free to give a thumbs up in the comments against uh, or next to Sparky's comment because he's a real trooper. He um, supports my channel and a lot of other channels. Uh, he's a big fan of Diecast, as he calls himself, the Diecast Crazy Man from Cuxhaven in Germany. Hello to Germany, hello to Cuxhaven, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.